Hello and welcome to a quick demonstration video on doing some mail merge student passes. <clears throat> and this is going to build off uh, something that we did in a previous video, which will be linked along with this one, on building a master schedule table using Infinite Campus and Google Sheets. So we're going to focus our efforts just in the spreadsheets. And what we have so far is we have a pivot table master schedule down the rows here we're actually using the state ID number from California it's a 10 digit numerical ID and across the top we have the periods and within each of the the cells we have the room name uh, or which is where the location is for that students period and what we're going to do, this was built off of this uh, master schedule table that had the student name, student number, departments, a whole bunch of other things. How we're going to use this is we're going to try and take this information. We're, uh, in this case, we're looking at students that have tests that are incomplete for the California state tests and we're going to let them know what tests they need to take but we want to try and get those passes out to them both digitally and also um, just physically like on paper here's an example of what a pass for a situation like this might look like now across the top let's zoom in a little bit there we go we, a lot of times you'll have like the student name, their ID number, maybe you want this to be their state ID number, the school event, report to room, and so on. And what we often will do with passes like this is we'll just do a more filtered data set in which we look for just their period three class and we'll distribute it during period three. The problem with that, that often arises, is, well, what if the student isn't there period three, but they do show up to school at period four? Well, do they have to wait an entire day until they see it during their next period three? So what we try to do here is apply this idea of using a master schedule table so that we can input all periods in here. And that will allow us to have the entire student schedule on the pass such that when it doesn't matter anymore when the pass gets distributed if it went out period three and the student wasn't there it could be brought back and re attempted uh, attempted again during period four or another period in the day just uh, it's helpful information in trying to reach out to students across a campus uh, that are in different places every period so let's see how we would take this information that we have and kind of put these two things together. So I have this information. I have students that are sometimes listed three times, two times, one time, uh, things that they need to complete for the state test. What I'll do is highlight the entire table. I'm going to insert a pivot table. And I'm going to down the rows I'm going to use the same identifier that's used in the master schedule and that's in the state ID number. I'm going to filter out blanks so that we don't see those and instead of putting a um, table across the top what, what I could do is I could put across the top the table and then which tests these students have to take and it I could see a grand total of all the tests that they need to take. I could also see per each test which one that they have to take. It also gives me down at the very bottom of the table just how many of each test that I still need to complete. What's probably more useful for these student passes, just assuming that we're doing a lot of makeup testing or inviting students, specific students to an event, I'm going to remove these columns, remove these values. And for the values, I'm going to do a calculated field. And this is similar to the uh, 
master schedule table in that we're going to import text into this field. Now, if I were to just import their test, which is uh, from this first sheet, it's, it's this one right here. It would give me just the first item, like it's going to find the first one in the list for that student. But what if I wanted all of the items listed? Well, then I could use the join function. I have to put in a um, type of character that it will be joined by. And then let's close this off. So now I'm going to join everything that's in the test column with a comma. And what it'll do is it'll list every test that that student needs to take. There we go. So I'm going to make this a little bit wider to see, but not too wide. And I'll cut it off so it doesn't bleed into additional items. The other information that I would want on this pass are uh, things this this up here where it says report to room period and time I might just fill that in manually but what I really want is all of their master schedule and their name and maybe their their state ID number but um, we'll see so first let's import like their last name their first name we'll put those together into a full name or la we'll Let's call it last first. And then we'll have period <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So when I want their last name and their first name, and then I'll put those together to make a last comma first, that's going to be a VLOOKUP from our data set in the original report. So I'm going to be looking up this number, the state ID number. And I prefer to use curly braces with an array. And I can build my own array here. Because in VLOOKUP, you always have to put the first thing that you're looking for and then the um, last thing that you're looking for. But if I do it this way, I can actually look up the state ID number. And then the second column in my custom array here would be the, oh, the full name. We don't have last and first, we just have full name. So we're just gonna do full name and skip the last and first. And then I'll return the second thing in that array, which is in this case, column A put false because it's not necessarily in order or matching order and we'll call this just name we don't need these two columns and now for this student that I imported with that state ID number I need to know their the room where they are located throughout the day their master schedule so I'm going to do a very similar thing I'm going to do a VLOOKUP. And I'm going to use this 10-digit ID number, use my curly brackets again. But this time I'm going to search in the master schedule table, or the pivot table built off the master schedule, I should say. I'll search through the SS ID numbers, and this time I'm going to return the next one. that will return period one for all those students. Now because uh, I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, left to right in order, and in this master schedule table, I also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You'd think I could just drag it across, but what happens is it's looking if I go to this next one now for the first one it's looking in column A and returning column B but in the next one it's looking in column B and returning column C 
what I really want it to do is keep looking in column A. So I'm going to freeze that column. You see the dollar sign. And now when I drag it, it should find the next one. Oh, we got to also freeze what we're looking for. So we're going to freeze this column here. Let's try it one last time. There we go. And now I can drag it all the way across. And we're going to have a bunch of VLOOKUPs going at the same time. If I drag all these across, and then I can double click, and it will drag that formula down. And there we have it. We have a state ID number, the tests that a student needs to make up, their name, and their schedule. And that's enough for me that I can make a pass to uh, mail merge and send out to them. And that's, that's the intent of this video, just to show how to put some of those pieces of information together and discuss kind of a quick application of where it would be useful. Thank you.